Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Pixel Lab. First off, I wanna make sure that you're aware of this great resource I found recently, and it's called My Mini Factory. And this has 12,000 sculptures that have been 3D scanned and you can download the 3D models for free. Just a really great resource, so I wanna make sure that you're aware of that. And on here, I found this Buddha model and I retextured him. And here's my render right here. So you can see that this is the original model and this is a real life uh, photo of the actual statue. And you can see this really nice dark kind of stone concrete texture, but on top of it, it has this kind of streaking, dripping green texture and it makes this really interesting image. So I wanted to recreate that in Octane. So here is that free model that I downloaded and we have this in our scene three shooting room, which is from our Octane Lighting Essentials. So this is just the default settings. And then we have two textures, which I've pre-made. Uh, the first one is a, a kind of a dark texture, and this is from our Octane Texture Pack Pro. And then we have another concrete texture, and I just took the color and I made it that kind of turquoisey green. This texture is a concrete from our Octane Texture Pack 2, which just came out. So the first thing we're gonna do is make a mixed material. And we're gonna to go to Octane Mix Material and open that up. Let's go ahead and add our concretes on here. So we have our two concretes and now we have to figure out how to blend the two. So the first step is we're gonna add a dirt node and then we're gonna figure out how to make it a little more realistic. So first of all, let's go to C4D Octane and a dirt node. And we can play around with these settings in here to specify where we want these different pieces to show up. Let's drag our mix material on here, not forget that. And let's play around with our strength here. Maybe kick up the strength to maybe 10 or so. And you can see that the dirt now is picking up the little crevices and putting it in between there. So the thing about dirt node is it's a really cool effect, but it looks pretty obvious and uniform. So we're gonna wanna figure out a way to break that up. Let's maybe tweak the uh, radius a little bit, make that a little bit narrower, maybe increase the details. All right, there we go. So we're gonna to wanna to break this up now, but this is a really good start. So to add an image texture into here, so we have the dirt plus the image texture, we're gonna to have to add a color correction node. So let's go to C4D Octane and let's find the color correction. Now, if we go into here, you're gonna notice that it added that dirt node into there. So that's good, that's step one, but now we need a image texture. And there's nowhere to put an image texture unless you click this little button here called text. Click that and all of a sudden we have another slot in here. And instead of a float texture, we can replace that with an image texture. So let's go to image texture, go into there and let's load one up here. All right, so let's find a concrete texture that looks really nice and maybe something like this would be good. Let's open this one and let's see what happens. Okay, so it looks like it's kind of messing around with uh, the values that we had set up. Let's actually try flipping the concrete so that we have the green on top and the other one on the bottom. Just kind of see what that looks like. And it looks like we're getting there a little bit more. So let's play with that gamma a bit more and try to really dial this in. Okay, so now we're starting to get somewhere. And you can see that we have the dirt, but it's being broken up by that image texture. And it looks like that image texture is not laying correctly on here. So what we could do is go to the uh, UV transform and we could play around with the scale and the position of this thing. So we'll play around with the scale, and maybe scale it up a little bit. And that's already starting to look a little bit better. So you can see that it's breaking up the pattern of that dirt really well and we're getting some more uh, scratches and blemishes and it's starting to look a lot more realistic. It's a little bit hard to compare, so let's actually add a AB comparison and let's store this one. And let's go back to our image texture and let's clear that out. And then we can see a before and after and see what it looks like. So here it is with the dirt node. You can see how kind of uniform it is, even though it's picking up the cracks and there's a little bit of breakup, it still looks very uniform. But once we add an image texture in there, you can see that it looks a lot more realistic where we're kind of breaking it up and it looks a lot better. So you can see what a big difference that is. All right, I have one last quick tip for you guys. If you go into your node editor and it's a disaster, this is just kind of a random tip, but a lot of times you'll get a texture and it'll just kind of be a disaster. All you have to do is highlight all of them and then go to view and then click auto arrange selected. 
and it's going to immediately with one click line up all the nodes so that they're laid out perfectly. So that's just a little handy tip I wanted to throw in there. It can be pretty frustrating when you get a big disaster. It's really, really nice to just go to auto arrange selected, bam, just like that, you are cleaned up and it's a lot easier to visualize what you're doing. So anyway, I hope these little tips helped you guys out. As always, thank you for checking the Pixel Lab. Talk to you next time. Ciao.